closer to home. We're tracking Fred tonight. As of 8 p.m., the storm had weakened to a tropical depression, but even so, it's drenching Haiti and the Dominican Republic. And this is what it looked like in the DR earlier today. A site too familiar to us here in South Florida with crashing waves and trees blowing in the wind. Streets were left flooded with some having to sweep the water away from their homes. And that brings us to CBS 4 Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer, who joins us now with the latest path for Fred. Craig. Yeah, and the possibility of flooding here in South Florida is very high with Fred, especially based on the latest models that bring this moisture tail over us. And uh, I'll show you that in just a second. It doesn't look good if that verifies. 35 mile an hour tropical depression, Fred, tonight. It's been over the mountainous island of Hispaniola here, the very high mountain peaks. And uh, that has done a job on Fred. We'll know tomorrow how much of a job it has done on Fred uh, when the hurricane hunters are out there investigating tomorrow morning. Moving to the west north west at 15 tropical storm watches in effect ahead of it and there's the future track taking it to the west northwest by tomorrow evening still forecast to be a tropical depression if it survives now there's a possibility it's not a high possibility a possibility that fred just comes apart as it comes off of hispaniola we'll watch for that we'll watch for the possibility it drifts or wobbles a little bit to the south in its disrupted state and ends up back over cuba we've seen that i think uh, last time i saw that was ernesto in 2006 and then uh, there's also that possibility it stays over the water and the hurricane center doing continuity from each six hour advisory. They don't make big changes, which is the smart thing to do because sometimes the models flip around, but they pretty much provide the, the middle of the road there and that often works out best. Here is the Friday morning position, the Friday evening position, and that's when Fred is making its closest approach to South Florida. Friday evening, Saturday morning, Saturday evening, and then it works its way up the eastern Gulf of Mexico there and could be strengthening as it does. And a lot of times a strengthening tropical system passing by us can bring some really, really nasty weather. Here is the National Hurricane Center's cone and over that are the models. There's a little bit of a shift to the west tonight in the models. That might be an indication that the models are sensing a little bit of a weaker Fred, but for the moment, it looks like all of that moisture that Fred is going to pick up as it comes our way or what's left of Fred comes our way is going to be coming our way. There's Fred tonight kind of sputtering along, not looking too impressive. And when you zoom out and put it against the background of the entire Caribbean and the Atlantic, this upper level low up here catches your eye more so than does Fred. The other thing we're watching, Pretty healthy tropical disturbance out there. It has a medium development potential, likely will be high by tomorrow. It's forecast to become our next tropical system, most likely by the time uh, it gets to the weekend and is approaching the islands. Closer to home, some showers and thunderstorms. We've seen the activity passing through the Keys this evening. A little bit on the increase, same story in Miami-Dade and Broward. These little spotty storms blowing on by. Temperatures right now feels like wise, upper 80s to the low 90s. Another hot and steamy day tomorrow before clouds, showers and storms drop temperatures quite a bit. Here's the latest computer runs showing the moisture coming in probably tomorrow night the leading moisture the outer bands of Fred this is 8 p or 6 p.m. rather for tomorrow evening by tomorrow night we're kind of in that deeper moisture that's Friday evening and then Saturday the bulk of the moisture comes up over us that's when I think our flood chances are the highest but they're not going to go down Sunday or Monday if this verifies because look at that a really nasty moisture tail that sets up over South Florida let's hope that doesn't happen that would be bad for us tonight summer muggy spotty storms a low temperature right around 8 84 tomorrow, steamy sun. Stray storms are still possible, very similar to today. High temperature near 92 degrees. On the water winds east at 10 to 15, seas running 2 to 3 feet. Lights up on the base, surf temperature, it's warm at 86. Taking us through the weekend tomorrow, the last of the hot and humid days, and then our weather goes downhill Friday, stormy Saturday, and could be stormy Sunday, Monday as well. CBS 4 News tonight's coming right back.